Hello guys and welcome, I am Jenya. Today I have yet another very full, very busy video that is again slightly longer than usual because it's filled with cleaning, a little bit of decluttering, even painting a furniture and just me trying to run around and get everything done before I give birth. We're gonna start with living room furniture TV stand makeover, end up with moving some things around in that room and just cleaning it up really well, finding a new place for our shoes that normally end up by the stairs. We also need to spot deep clean that couch in the living room real quick then we'll switch to our disaster kitchen and clean all of that up all the usual the dishes the counters the vacuuming and the mopping and end up this video with a clean space and a clear mind let's start this video with the tv stand that's in our living room that i'm going to paint white We got this piece from Facebook Marketplace for $150. It originally came from Pottery Barn and I love it except for the color. I did ask you in my previous videos if you think I should paint it and most of you said yes. A few of you said no. That is what my husband thought as well. He didn't want me to paint it. And I think if I paint it white, it's going to brighten up this room and light it up a little bit, which is what I've been working on for a long time in this room because I feel like when we moved into this house, almost a year ago this room seemed way too dark to me then and I made quite a few changes in here so far so right now I'm just clearing up as much as I can and starting with at least one side I'm not gonna be moving anything downstairs or anything like that I'm gonna be painting right here on the fly just really fast I'm going to start with wiping it clean and then sand it just a little bit and then start painting and see how many coats I need two three or maybe even four I'm going to be using a couple of different paints because I'm going to run out of one then get another and I'll explain as we go but real quick if you're new I am Jenya and I am a stay-at-home mom of two toddlers ages two and four and I am pregnant with twins at the moment I am in my third trimester on this channel you'll find plenty of cleaning organizing decluttering and some DIY project every once in a while just like this one today so I hope you'll enjoy today's video and get plenty of motivation to just start moving around and getting things done After sanding those little shelves, I did wipe them down from the dust because you don't want to be painting with dust all over. I guess I didn't capture that part, but this is important to always wipe the dust down after sanding and before painting. If you've ever painted anything, you know that the first coat never looks good, the second coat is more of a true coat, and the third coat is to bring everything to perfection. As I have told you, I have two toddlers and I'm about to have two more, so I think that painting everything around me white color is not the most practical decision for me right now, so my way out of it is to make the furniture look distressed, and that way any kind of imperfections, scratches, or anything else that can happen to this piece of furniture is is just a part of its character. That way it's still nice, white and beautiful, but I don't have to worry about every single scratch that is definitely going to appear here and there. If you have been on my channel for a little bit, you probably have noticed a little pattern that I paint everything white. As a matter of fact, white is not my favorite color, it's just that it makes space look bigger and whenever I have dark space that I'm dealing with, I try to bring in some white color in that space. If I have a white canvas to work with, such as white walls for example, that way I wouldn't have to worry about painting all the furniture white color. But that's not my situation, I feel like I'm working with more like gray walls and brown floors. That's why I'm trying to light it up this way instead of painting the walls because that's a much bigger project, I just don't feel like doing. Let let me know in the comment section if you feel like it. What kind of color palette do you prefer in your home? Is it more dark, light or colorful? I think all of them are great, we just all have different tastes, that's all. We 
We don't have much left here to paint, but I'm only going to show you the first coat because the second and the third coat are pretty much the same deal. And then I'm going to show you the final result. As I ran out my bare paint from Home Depot, I had to go to Lowe's this time and ask them to imitate the same color, which was called Heavy Cream. So they did that for me. Now it's Valspar paint. At this point, I'm just finishing up doing my last coats. We are going to let it dry and then we'll come back and distress everything a little bit. In the meanwhile, the room is a hot mess, of course, so we're going to start cleaning that up. Obviously, during any makeover or any big project, everything stops, the cleaning stops. So time to catch up on some cleaning and make this room look gorgeous. We're going to do just a little bit of furniture moving as well. We're going to be moving away that white coffee table, even though now it really goes well with the white TV stand. But you'll see why I'm doing this as we move closer to moving the furniture. But for right now, let me just show you all the before pictures and then we'll start cleaning up this messy room. My husband was helping his relative to move the other day. And do you see this black table? She wanted to get rid of it. This is exactly what I had been looking for in the last few weeks and exactly for that area in the living room. I was so happy that my husband actually knows me well enough by now to bring this table here instead of getting rid of it for her. I absolutely love that table. So we're just going to rearrange things a little bit here in the living room to make sure that we have space for that table. As the furniture has completely dried by now, I'm just going to quickly distress it a little bit. So I'm just going to sand it with 80 grit in the places that I want it to look worn out. I don't want it to look extremely worn out, just enough for me to feel comfortable if I get another scratch, I'm not gonna lose my sleep over it. I also understand that this might not be a look for everybody, a lot of people might prefer just a clean white look to their furniture, but a distressed look is more for me personally. But my tastes change a lot as well. From time to time I start noticing that I like different things and colors and different furniture. I used to be in love with farmhouse style, but I feel like not only just because it's going out of style I hear, I've just had enough of farmhouse look. So I feel like I'm going to start getting rid of all of that decor that looks like farmhouse decor. A couple of lanterns, a couple of signs on the walls that I have, window panes on my wall, and I think that's about it. But yeah, stuff like that, I'm going to just slowly get rid of it and replace it with something that I fancy more. I still do love the look of the distressed furniture though, even though it might be considered as part of the farmhouse style. I'm not sure if it is. Just picking up all of the stuff from behind the TV stand. There's a little bit more on the other side as well.
Of course, moving of the furniture is not my job. My husband was at work. As soon as he comes back, he's going to put the furniture back to its place and he'll fix the rug as well. Okay, we're looking at the living room couch and this day was Anya's, my daughter's birthday. We were expecting just a couple of people to come so I needed to really quickly spot clean this couch and then put the living room together. We already did deep clean this couch just a couple of videos back. Today I'm just spot cleaning it but you'll see the amount of dirty water again after me just spot cleaning this couch. I absolutely love this little green machine for upholstery and carpet cleaning. If you're wondering what kind of stains these are, I think these are the frozen fruit kind of smoothie stains. I freeze them and I make ice cream out of them and then I give them to my kids and my mistake, I shouldn't be probably letting him have them on the couch. <laughs> but it's just something that happens when I am busy and I just want them kind of out of the kitchen. But those are the kind of stains that the couch I think is covered with. And yes, I am looking into getting some sort of maybe cover or a blanket or something for the couch to cover it with. I do have a couple of blankets, but my kids just always end up throwing them on the floor within two seconds. So a blanket I don't think is an option. I'll figure something out. Look at this beautiful rich color of dirt from this couch but now my husband will put this tv stand back where it belongs and this is just what the room looked like on my daughter's birthday i didn't get a chance to put the hardware back on the furniture on the tv stand yet but i will and it will actually make quite a difference you will see now i want to move this coffee table out of the way and put this cat whatever it is climber i guess instead of the coffee table by the window so that Katya can look out of the window. The coffee table we decided to put into my husband's office for now. We're probably not gonna be putting that coffee table anywhere in the middle of the room until all of our kids are grown up just a little bit because they will smash their heads on that table. But here is everything found under the table. I'm just gonna clean that up. This is actually a nighttime. I'm going to bed and I'm wearing my nightgown. <laughs> but in a second, which would be the next day for me, I will be coming back here and just putting everything together doing some final touches and then just showing you the final pictures of this room and after that we're going to be moving to the disaster kitchen so of course my husband will move the cat um the bed climber to the to the window right now first
the shoes that always end up here down by the stairs I want to put onto that table that we got from my husband's relative I think it's a beautiful and stylish table and it really just kind of was a godsend for us I'm only putting a few shoes there that we use on a daily basis the rest of the shoes are kept in the garage it may not make sense to some of you or a lot of you but our cat and I had mentioned that once before she's a shoe eating cat she shoes on adult shoes but not the kids shoes I'm not sure why and this is why we keep all of our shoes in the garage mostly my husband's because I don't really have that many shoes and then the shoes for this season for the kids or something that they wear on a daily basis I'm planning to put onto that organizer just to not clutter it up all the way but to have a designated space for a couple of shoes that we need on a daily basis in case you are wondering no I was not planning to paint this table light color as well I think it looks good just as it is but but maybe who knows maybe in the future I'll change my mind so just like I mentioned on the shelf I'm going to put just a few pairs of the shoes for the kids that they wear pretty much every day and then a couple of pairs for me that I wear inside the house and outside the house every day of course my shoes are gonna be at risk of being eaten by the cat but I normally just wear them all the time it took a while been looking for a sweet song and these shoes are just extras anything that needs to be decluttered or thrown away or just out of here waiting for a reason to laugh to say okay now it's time to put the hardware back onto the tv stand i did it off camera and this is what it's going to look like after i love how it now stands out and you can actually see the hardware because the furniture is white so the room is completely done let's see what it looks like i also want to show you a couple of images right next to each other of what the room looked like before painting and after painting So this is the TV stand before, this is the after. Is what goes up, must come down. For me, there's absolutely no regret that I painted this entertainment center white. I hope you like it too. But let's now move on to the kitchen. It's really messy and we need to put it back together. As you can see, I'm just starting with unloading the dishwasher, then I'm gonna load it again with all the dirty dishes that are in the sink. We, of course, are going to clean up all the countertops, wipe the stove, the table. Our catch-all area has caught it all today. I'll need to declutter that little area where we drop all of our clutter on a daily basis. The only thing you might notice though is that this kitchen video was taken a little bit before we did all the rearrangement in the living room. I think I'm only now just noticing it. I don't think it really should matter but I just thought I'd mention because you might be looking at the plant and think didn't she move it to the other window just a few minutes ago? So that's why I mentioned.
You know how you go to some place and think, I'm just gonna wipe the dust or something, and then one thing leads to another, and you end up cleaning the whole room or at least a big part of it, or just spend a lot of time on one area. That happens to me all the time, and it is quite a challenge to stay focused on one area and ignore all of the other messes. It wasn't part of my plan to take all of the spoons and forks out of the drawer and completely clean that drawer and make it all nice and pretty, but that's just what happens. I'm sure that happens to you. Let me know in the comments if you end up like this a lot of times as well. Will you carry me like I am whole again? Wait, hold on. Put me together, take me back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone I could take you back to my youth and show you what I wish I knew. My will is strong with a place to lean. In the moment I hung best belief, the other ring of my wrist is gold, pairing with the light it holds. When I return from my spinning ball, I'm remembering the words you told. Those little containers with handles on the left, I'm sure you might be familiar with those. They sell them at the dollar store, although they're not heavy duty quality, but they're pretty good for using in your pantry. I went to the dollar store the other day to just get a couple of more to reorganize my pantry, hopefully before the babies come. And now I don't know if I am going to have enough time. So I did just kind of tidied up my pantry using these containers and they work just great. But if I do get more time all of a sudden I would like to reorganize my pantry just make it really easy to understand for anybody else who may be using it while I'm at the hospital but just so you're aware my priorities are right now are to set up the nursery I do get questions from you on how that one is going and honestly we've just been getting the necessary equipment nothing fancy nothing crazy at this point I just want that room set up in a practical way possibly without spending a lot of money and I gotta tell you it's almost ready we just gotta put it together i am a bit confused with any sort of decor though i'm not really good at that but that can come later plus i'll get to ask for your suggestions i guess i also wanted to reorganize and declutter a couple of closets such as linen closet my two-year-old son's closet and the twin room closet i think this is a lot of closets on my to-do list and i'll be lucky if i get at least a couple of them done so i just wanted to let you know what's happening and what my plan is for the next few videos i am currently 32 weeks pregnant and from my research most of twin pregnancies and between weeks 35 and 37 38 but when it comes to twins doctors always get them out by week 38 that's just like the end point so i am hoping for at least one full month of being pregnant i would never think i'd ever say that with my other two pregnancies i couldn't wait to get those babies out but right now i feel like i still have to complete so many things before they get here that i'm not even ready for them yet but anyways once they come obviously i don't know what to expect but i would imagine I would have to take a few weeks off of YouTube in my imagination I would say about two weeks but we never know how it's gonna go but I thought I would update you on what I know even though I am clueless myself so any more questions that you have feel free to drop them at the comment section I'll do my best to look through them and answer them
these little separators for the silverware I don't know how many questions I got about them but the thing is I didn't buy them myself my husband had them when we got married and he says that they came with that uh, bamboo I guess organizer inside the drawer I was trying to find them online but I couldn't really find anything similar if I ever do I will be sure to update you in one of my videos but maybe one of you has the same separators for your silverware please help us out where did you get those from as far as the stove top I always get milk spilled on that right top burner today I'm using power paste to get rid of it paired with scrub mummy I'm still working on my garlic project that I started a couple of videos back. It's a bunch of garlic that I got from Costco that I need to peel and freeze for it not to go dry on me. I try to do a little bit at a time every day, but it doesn't always happen since it's not my favorite thing to do. From now on, I will be only buying peeled garlic from Costco, even though it's a little bit more expensive to me, it's worth my time. That's my frozen garlic, I'm just gonna add to it, put it back into the freezer and save a couple to keep in my fridge. I noticed that I keep them all in my fridge, they start growing eventually, I don't want that. I really cannot stand peeling garlic while I'm cooking, it takes so much of your time. While you're frying something, that time is really valuable. It's a game changer to have your garlic prepped before if you can. I personally strongly prefer to use fresh garlic in my recipes, that's why I always want to have it ready when I'm ready to cook. Let me know if you're one of those who preps any kind of ingredients ahead of time and let me know what they are. I'm really curious about those kind of things and maybe I can learn something new. I got this gorgeous beautiful lemon plant from Lowe's or Home Depot, I can't remember. They were full of them just recently, so I got one because I always wanted a little lemon tree, even though it will take me a few years to grow, but I still don't lose my hope and would like to have access to lemons eventually. The only thing is this tree started dropping the leaves all of a sudden. I was thinking maybe it's just me not watering it enough, but I'm really hoping it will not die on me because those trees are expensive if you buy them online normally over a hundred dollars for a nice little tree but this one I got for 35 I think dollars from Home Depot just because they were I guess in season I'm going to declutter this area real quick. This is our catch-all area that I mentioned before. So I'm gonna go through all of these items and get rid of them because nothing really is supposed to be on these tables. But I feel like the kitchen being the center of the house normally is a magnet for those kind of things. Give me some time to breathe, give me some time to speak Cause I know the truth inside And I promise you this time no over
The puppy chewed on this brush. He's not quite a year old and I'm just hoping that he's still teething. I do my best to try and keep things out of his reach, but it can get pretty hard when you have kids around that carry toys with them. We try to have him in the living room area as much as possible, but he starts destroying everything that's around there. I think it's just that he is still a puppy, that's all. He'll be fine, I'm sure. And he's got plenty of bones and things to chew on, but obviously <laughs> for some reason he prefers anything other than that. I think he's just still a baby, that's all it is. Back to the kitchen countertop, I just gotta clear this countertop and then we're gonna start taking care of the floors and finish everything else. I missed that little tiny crumb there and even though it's nothing, it's still kind of bothering me and I'm sure there's a couple of you that it's also thinking you missed that crumb because there's another one that I'm going to miss just now. I guess I couldn't see from my angle but at least the countertop looks clean. We're now done with the countertops and the only things that are left are vacuuming and then mopping the floors. I will also wipe the windows and the door. Both of those have got a bunch of little kid handprints on them but then when I started vacuuming the doggy, the puppy was on my way all of this time because he tries to attack the vacuum. I will eventually just make him wait outside until I'm done with the floors but I don't know why I didn't do that at the very beginning so sorry if that bothers you I got a couple of questions regarding my cat hair around the house and my cat hair doesn't really bother me never has she just never sheds that much or it doesn't get on my clothes I don't know what it is it doesn't bother but the puppy he leaves hair all over the only way I found to ever deal with it is just vacuum vacuum the floors I try to vacuum the kitchen twice a day and that definitely does the job it keeps the floors pretty clean it's nothing more than cleaning after the kids after every single meal that's much more than just vacuuming after a little puppy and when it comes to furniture I don't know if you guys get dog hair on your furniture but I never noticed any hair on my cabinet kitchen cabinets and my cabinets are white but just the floors is my problem and I manage it by light vacuuming once or hopefully twice a day of course another thing that couldn't hurt that I'm learning is you could groom your dog brush your dog's hair as well I wasn't sure if you do that for all dogs I thought you only had to do that for the hairy ones but I think little Boris needs to get on the schedule of being groomed as well 
There was a few hairs on this part of the floor so I decided to vacuum them first because I always vacuum first and then I go with my spray microfiber mop. Otherwise the mop will just collect all the hair and it's just not the way to do it. I finally let the puppy out so that I could finish the floors without any distractions. This video is coming to an end. I'm about to show you the after pictures of the kitchen when it's clean. Let me know in the comments how your day is going, what you're up to, if you have any questions or answers to anything. I also have an Instagram account which is at from Jenny would love just like this channel. That is if you feel like sending me a direct message. And other than that, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend and I hope to see you next Saturday. Thank you. Bye-bye.